Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Namo dasa bhagavatu arahatu sama sambuddhasa Namo dasa bhagavatu arahatu sama sambuddhasa Namo dasa bhagavatu arahatu sama sambuddhasa Okay so Alright, so I think the usual student have come in. So we will continue the Angutara. So I will share my screen. Alright, so on the previous lesson, we already gone through the first sentence that is very long. Uh, and then the, today we are going to do the same thing. It's a second sentence. On the 309 is actually exactly same with the earlier one. The earlier one talking about uh not good one and this talking about good one. So what we do is uh we all read together so we get to know the party. So everybody turn on your mic, we read together. Okay, 309. Eka pugolo bikawe. Eka pugolo bikawe. Loke upajatma no upajati. Loke upajama no upajati. Bahu jana hitaya, bahu jana sukaya. Bahu jana hitaya, bahu jana sukaya. Bahu no jana sa ataya hitaya sukaya dewa manusanam. Bahu no jana sa ataya hitaya sukaya dewa manusanam. Kata mo eka pugalo. Kata mo eka pugalo. Sama diti ko hoti awi awi parita dasano. Sama diti ko hoti. So, bahu janam asadama uta petua. So, bahu janam asadama uta petua. Sadame patita peti. Sadame patita peti. Ayanko bikawe. Ayanko bikawe. Eka pugalo loke upajamano upajati. Eka pugalo loke upajamano upajati. Bahu jana hitaya, bahu jana sukaya. Bahu no jana sa ataya hitaya sukaya dewa manusanti. Bahu no jana sa ataya hitaya sukaya dewa manusanti. Okay, so we read the English together because there is one person. We read together because, because there is one person who rises in the world for the welfare of many people, for the happiness of many people, for the good welfare and happiness of many people, of devas and human beings. Who is that one person? It is one who is holds one right view right and right has correct has perspective. He draws he many draws people away many people from a bad dharma and establishes them establish in a good dharma. This is that is one that person one who rises in the, the world for the, the welfare of many people, for the happiness of many people, for the good welfare and happiness of many people, of devas and human beings. Okay, so you notice this is same like previous paragraph. I said previous paragraph is on the bad side, this on positive side. So any question about this paragraph? Any question? 
Assuming you attend the previous class, then you should be able to follow this. This uh, should be able to uh, analyze yourself the, this one because they are very similar. Any question on this? You know? No. No, uh? okay. So we will go to the next one first, all right? Uh, all right. So next one is very short sentence. It's e even easier. It's a very strange in this Angutara. You got very long sentence like just now and very short sentence like just now. And they don't seem to have much connection with each other. So this very short sentence, okay. So we read together. Naham Bikawe. Naham Bikawe. Anya Ekadamampi Samanupasami. Anya Ekadamampi Samanupasami. Yam Ewam Mahasa Wajam. Yam Evam Bikawe Micha Diki. Micha Diti Paramani Bikawe Mahasa Wajani Ti. Okay, so we read the English. Because, because I do not see not even see one a single thing so bad working as wrong view. Wrong view is the worst view things, things that are really worthy. Okay, so previously, because the previous sentence are very long, so I don't ask you to analyze, but this sentence is very short. So maybe you all, we, you all help me to analyze. Okay. What is Naham? I do is... not. No. Okay, I do not. Okay. Okay, Bikawe. What is Bikawe? Bikus. Okay. All right. What is Anyam? Other. Right. Okay, other. All right. Okay. And uh, Eka Dhamma. What is Eka Dhamma? A single thing. Yeah. Okay, why P here? P. Also. Uh, I don't see also in the translation. Even. Even. Mm -hmm. Even. Even, okay. So what is the function of P here? What do you think? What's the function of this even? Emphasis, sir. Yeah, it's an emphasis. So it says, so I do not see even a single thing. Now, what is a samanupasami? C. Okay, C. Last time I tell you, tell you already, there's another word better, be, better than this C. What is another word for this C? Because the sum and anu and then the pasami is C. But with the prefix sum and anu, so samanupasami should have a better meaning than C. Remember what is other word, other word that I mentioned? Do not see. Uh, another word, another word for this C. <laughs> oh God, then I perceive. Uh, okay. <laughs> perceive, all right. Remember, so I yes. do not perceive. Okay, perceive even a single thing. All right. Now this is so easy. Okay, up to here. What is the subject? Aham. Uh -huh. Okay, aham is I, correct. What is the verb here? Man verb, man verb only one. Man verb is? Samanupasami. Uh, All right, then the not samanupasami. So how will you translate it? Not samanupasami. Do not see. Okay, I do not see or I do not perceive. All right, perceive. or I do not contemplate. All right, I do not contemplate. What's the object here? Eka damampi. All right. So what do you think is the case? Is it nominative? Is it assertive? Is it instrument? So what's the case of anya eka damampi? What do you think? Accusative. Accusative. Okay, good. Singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Okay, singular. Good. Okay. Now, so if you say it's accusative, how do you know it's accusative? Ending M. Okay, M, all right. So in this case, Dhamma. Dhamma is a which gender? 
Is it masculine? Is it neutral or is it feminine? It is masculine. All right. Okay, good. So what you do is when you are, remember, I tell you, you can write this. So it's an object here and it's an acquisitive singular. And this is object and it's also masculine. All right. So you can do like this. Okay, now. Now, the verb. Is it past tense, present tense, or future tense? What kind of verb is this? Future tense. Kind of future? Are you sure? Present tense. Present tense, okay. So, first person, second person, third person, what is this? Okay, first person. First person, okay. First person and singular. All right. So how should you write singular? S G. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, so if so if I if I don't put the word aham, do I still know that it is the first person? If I don't put, let's say, if in the whole sentence there's no aham, so this samanu pasami is it enough to show me it's a first person? Yes. If uh, Yes, why? Yes, because Kami is very clear, right? Okay, right, good. Okay, now. Now, so this sentence is already complete by itself, okay? Okay, so now we go back to next one. So this is another pattern you will see yam. Uh, yam is a relative, kind of like relative noun or pronoun. You will see later, all right? Okay, now we continue. Yam, ewam, maha, sawa, jam. So, Anybody check dictionary before this class? So what is Maha Sawajam? What do you think? Brainworthy. Okay. All right. Brainworthy, yes. But you have the word Maha. Anybody know this word Maha? Maha yeah. Vihara, you know? Great. Okay. So can you find a word great here? Is there a word great here? So what do you think? It's a sa wajam is a let's say brain or brain. So how about this so? Why this so? Ewam. Ewam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yam a one so then yam a one. Okay, you can put a so, but maybe you also can put so is also like means a bit here, you know, because if you ever have a maha wajam. You see, I will write down already. Maha, you see the down there I put here? Okay, so Maha Sawaja, you can break to the Mahanta. Be so or great. Right? So then Sawaja is a brand worthy. A fault. Then the Maha is short term. Mahanta short term to Maha. Plus a Sa and Awaja. Sa, Awaja is fault. Sawaja is together. When the two together, so remember A and A. So when you put the A and A together, it become long A. Okay. A and A, short A, become long A. So when you put together, you have this word Maha Sawaja. Okay. Can you follow this? It's not difficult, right? Okay. Now we go back. I do not see even a single thing so brand worthy as the wrong view. Okay. As the wrong view, okay, we go for as the wrong view here. Which one do you think is this one? As the wrong view. So you see this word before, right? Yada idam. Have you seen this one? Yada idam. You see many times, right? This is talking about like just like this or as or so. Yada idam is as. And then what is a wrong view here? Chaditi. Okay, Micha Diti, all right? So, okay. So, I do not see even a single thing so brand worthy. So, you can take it as A1 here, but I also can take the so is a Maha because Maha means so big, so great, something so big, all right? And Yada Idam is the wrong view. Okay, now I think this sentence looks so difficult. Now, next one, Micha Diti Paramani. Parama. Uh, you see this word parami parama, right? Parami parama is talking about the highest one or the greatest one, all right? So 
wrong view, and we are talking about Parama, Parami is the greatest one. So maybe here it translates as the worst. It's talking about the highest one here, or the worst one here. All right? So Paramani. And then the brand worthy is a Maha Sawajani. All right? So this is one way it translates. So I'm going to do another translation, which maybe I try to follow it. So because I do not see even a, a, a single other thing, uh, I do not perceive that is so, that is a great uh, brand. Okay, just as the, just the wrong view, uh, because wrong view is greatest, greatest, uh, the great. Okay, so that's the way I translate. I try to follow the Bali, all right? So, okay, let, let me go through again. So, because I do not perceive is a Samanupasami, even, even is the pit here, a singer is a Eka, other thing is Anya. There is a Maha, Maha I translate is a great, Sawaja, I translate as a brand worthy. Okay. Yada Ida. There's something on keyboard. Okay. Yada Ida, I translate as a just like a Yada Ida, wrong view, then because. Then the wrong view, Micha Diki, Paramani, I translate as the greatest. And then the Maha is a great Sawajani, brand worthy. Okay, so any question about this paragraph is that this paragraph is quite easy. Uh, Sayaji, yes, can I ask a question? Yeah, uh, the question that the, the sentence the wrong view is greatest great blameworthy. Uh, can yeah. you just be the wrong view is greatest is the greatest blameworthy? Is that correct? Greatest, uh, greatest what? Let me. Is the greatest blameworthy instead of greatest great? Can can it be written that way? Uh, because the because sawaja, mm. sawaja it has the meaning of fault, you know, or blameworthy. But there's also another maha. Oh. So yes, oh. yeah. Then how are you going to translate the maha? You know, mm. because maha has a meaning. Because something in the world, there yeah, are something blameworthy, but there will be something very bad. Uh, wrong view will be the greatest here or the biggest wrong view because when somebody is the wrong view in the noble Eiffel path, he follow the wrong path, everything is done wrongly. So if we put the brain worthy, then it will not cover the maha, you know? I see. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So according to the people body, he, he just finds it a brain, uh, brain worthy also can. Mm -hmm. So you... You can see the even the dictionary has the word Mahanta and Sawaja, all right? So Mahanta is uh, another word and Sawaja is another word. So if we just look at the word Sawaja, ah. Sawaja is blameworthy, okay? Fault. Yeah. Fault is fault, all right? Censurable. Something that people will brain you, all right? So, so uh, yeah, you can do it in that way. But if you want to follow the grammar, strict, uh, follow the words near closer as possible, so if maybe we don't put the greatest, uh, maybe just put the word big, all right? Uh, maybe four. Maybe I can do it in this way, all right? Okay. So in translation, there are many ways we can translate, you know? So it's just like many ways we can translate and as long as it is easier for people to understand, you know? Even like the Wisri Maga, the path to clarification, there are two translations by two different authors and recently I do a study on it. I also translate my own way. So this means that there are three translations to a single Pali sentence. Okay. Thank All you. right. Okay. Yeah. So we no question we go to next one.
All right. So today is also another long sentence. Okay, three one one. This sentence we can break to three three parts. So we will go to the first part first. All right. So we read together. Even though it's difficult sentence, but at least we read few times, then we get a uh, familiar with it. Okay, so we read together. Naham bikawe. Naham bikawe. Anyam anyam ekam ekapugalampi samanupa sami. Anyam ekapugalampi manupa sami. Yo ewam. Yo ewam. Bahu jana hitaya patipano. Bahu jana supaya. Bahu jana hitaya patipano. Bahu jana sukaya. Bahu no jana sa anataya ahitaya. Dukaya dewa manusa nam. Bahuno Janasa Anataya Ahitaya Bukaya Deva Manasana Yada Yitam Bikawe Makali Moga Puliso Yata Yidam Bikawe Makali Moga Puliso Seya Seya Tapi Bikawe Seya Tapi Bikawe Nadi muke kipam udeya. Nadi muke kipam udeya. Bahunam machanam ahitaya dukaya anayaya yasanaya. Bahunam machanam ahitaya dukaya anayaya bahunam yasanaya. Ewa me wang ko bikawe. Ewa me wang ko bikawe. Makali muka puliso. Makali muka puliso. Manusa kipam manye. Manusa kipam manye. Loke upano bahunam satanam. Ahitaya, Atukaya, Anayaya, Ya Sanayati. Loki Pano Bahunam Satanam Ahitaya, Dukaya, Anayaya, Ya Sanayati. Okay, so it's a long sentence. What we do is, uh, you see like this, under the Makali Mogala Puriso, before the seyatapi, I will break here. This one break here we can do. So I basically I break, I copy the sentence here. So we are going to do this one sentence first and we are going to do another sentence later. Okay. All right, so we go words by words and some of you already know the sentence. All right, so we will read again. Naham bikawe. Naham bikawe. Anyam ekam. Eka Pugalampi Samanupa Sami. Anyam Eka Pugalampi Samanupa Sami. Yo Ewam. Yo Ewam. Bahu Jana Hitaya Patipano. Bahu Jana Sukaya. Bahu Jana Hitaya Patipano. Bahu Jana Sukaya. Bahu no janasa anataya ahitaya dukaya. Bahu no janasa anataya ahitaya dukaya. Dewa manusa nang yadayitam bikawe. Dewa manusa nang yadayitam bikawe. Okay, makali moga puliso. Okay, I will give you one minute. You all read, read this sentence and try to uh, see which part you already familiar with. Okay, just one minute. You read this sentence.
All right. So, which part you are familiar with? I think some. Uh, okay, we go which one? All right. So we go words by word. All right. Naham. Are you familiar with this word? Yes. Okay. So how you translate? I do not. To, okay, I do not. All right. So the is this a object or subject? Subject. Okay, subject. So, so what we do is uh, when you analyze the Pali word, so always uh, try to highlight the subject, you know, because it's very important. So, so I do like this, okay? So if you got the color pencil or whatever, you also do like this, all right, subject. Now, this, after you highlight the subject, the second thing we need to do is find the verb, main verb. Is there a verb here? Main verb. Okay, all right. So you can do like different color, you know, so it's easy for you to, uh, all right. So beside the word C, what is another word that I told you? Perceive. Okay, so perceive, all right. All right. So what is object here? Uh, eka, uh, eka okay, right. Yes. Uh, Anya is an adjective here, but you can put it together so easy for you to. Uh, all right. Okay. So now I'm going to work by word. So this is the object. Now, Pugala, what do you think Pugala? What is the gender? Is it masculine, neutral? Masculine. Masculine, all right. All right. So, is it a nominative or singular or is it accusative or instrumental? What should I write here? Accusative is singular. Oh, singular, okay. So, you do like this, all right. Now, clear. Now, Samano Pasami. What kind of tense is this? Past tense, present tense, future tense? So? Present tense, present tense. Singular. First person. Singular. Yes. First person. Okay, good. All right. So now, is it very clear here? Is it clear already, right? You can see the color. You can see the grammar. All right. Now. Okay. Now we go for something easy one. You see this ya before, right? Kita ya, suka ya. You see this ya before. What do you think this ya is? Dative. Dative, okay. So how do you translate in English? Okay, what is bahu jana? What is bahu jana? Oh. Bahu. Many. What is bahu? Many. Many people, all right? So, so ya yeah is dated, so it's four, all right? So you see this one is, is a combined of two, these two words like the last time. Ahita, ahita is, uh, um. so actually combined to the ahita, ham, all right? So what you do is, when you see this complete sentence, you can check the dictionary, so you can break to further one, all right? So, So it's actually made of this one, bahu plus jana. And then the word a, a means coming from na plus kita. Kita actually means benefits and then make good, all right? So if you have something, we call it like, uh, so na kita, when these two words combine, it become a hita. Ahita is the opposite of a benefit, so it's a harm. Okay? So, bahu jana ahita. Alright? So, it translates as harm here. For the harm of many people. Okay? Can follow? Yes. Alright, okay. Now. Now. Now, we're going for this patipano. Why do you think is this patipano?
Anybody want to guess? Is that the what is the English word for this party panel? Conduct. Conduct. All right. Uh, there is no conduct in this uh, English. What is another word in the translation? Acting. Okay, acting. All right. So this is also a, a kind of work here. So I will analyze it because it's important. Okay, all right. Okay, now. So much, all right. So you see this word so much. What do you think is the Pali words for this word so much? Anybody want to guess? So much. Where is the Pali word for this so much? Bahuno. Bahuno. Bahuno is a is a many. Is a is the next one. You see the comma here. When you see the comma here, this means that we should break here. All right. All right. So. Bahuno. No, is this a one? Okay. A one. Right. So I put this uh okay now is it clear all right? So the single person, I do not perceive even a single person who, maybe you can use the yo as a who here, okay? Who, yo is a who here, is acting atipano so much, all right? So much is the a one. All right, now, dative, for, for is a dative. The harm, harm is hit, uh, this, this ahita, ahita is harm, all right? For the ham, ahita, bahu, jana, plus ahita, all right? Bahu, jana, ahita. So, for the ham of many people. And then followed by bahu, jana, happiness, asukaya. So, like, for this word, how do you break them? All right, how to really break them for the asukaya. So now, just I show you already, how do you break it? Bahu, Bahu. plus jana, and, plus okay. jana. asuka. Yeah. Asuka, right, okay, good. What is asuka? Happiness. Suka is happy, all right? And so suka is suka. happiness. So na plus suka means uh, asuka, okay. Asuka means unhappiness, means uh, or dukkha, right? So, so that's how. So, just remember, na and suka is asuka, all right? Okay, all right. So, so the sentence up to here. So, you see, I break the sentence here. So, when I break the sentence here, so you also should break in your in your. They say you print out the paper, right? All right, so you should break here also. So the sentence we finish up to here. Okay, can you follow? Okay. What we do is I will break in. Okay, so we will follow it. Okay, now. All right, so we analyze the sentence again. Naham bikawe anya eka bukalampi samanu pasami yo hu ewam. So much, or sometimes Ewa we can translate in this way, all right? Ewa in this way, Bahu Jana, Bahu Jana, it should be long A here because it's a Bahu Jana plus Ahita. 
bahujana hitaya patipano bahujana sukaya all right so this is clear but this also another words we need to see this is bahujana so this is also interesting word that you all should learn okay so when you see this word what kind of word it is is it the Present tense, is it past tense, is it future tense, is it imperative, is it alternative, how kind of this it is? Can you guess? And then we now. How kind of work? Uh, so uh, remember, uh, sorry? Past perfect tense. Uh, no, not past perfect. It's a past, but but uh, past participle. Ah, uh, yeah, past participle, right? Because past participle ending with the uh, suffix uh na. All right, so you can see, it's a past participle of the patik pajati. So you all can write down. Later, I will share you the notes also. Okay, so it's a so pati pajati. How you translate? It's talking about enter, follow, or walk the path. You know something like follow the way, follow the method, enter the method, right? So you see, we translate enter or follow, right? So we can just translate. So this is a follows, enters. So since this is past whatever, so we should translate as a, okay, so how you translate past? It's a prefix, uh, part, the root is part plus not suffix, okay? So we can say follow, all right? So we can say follow. Or here they translate acting, you know? Or you want to translate what acting also can. Acting. Acted or acting. Okay. So it means that somebody who uh, acting or somebody who follow follow so much is A1 here. A1 we translate as a so much here. But sometimes I can translate in a way, uh, in in a way, you know. All right. So this you can see even center we can translate. In a different way, a single person who is acting or a single person who follow or so much or in a way. So there are various translations even in one sentence. Okay. All right. So you just need to remember, it's very important. Past participle. The suffix is tak and na. All right. So this is the na suffix that you see. So if you want to study, you go back to lesson one five fifteen. All right, okay. So we go back. All right. So for this sentence, any questions so far? If not, I will continue. No question. No question. All right. So continue. All right. Next one. Bahuno janasa anataya ahitaya dupaya dewa manusanam yada idam bikawe makali Moga puriso. All right, so we easy already. What is bahuno janasa? Bahuno many many janasa, janasa? of people. Okay. Anataya is what? Unhappiness. Uh, uh for the harm for the ruin ruin. You translate here for the ruin. Okay, for this one, for the ruin. Uh, yeah, green or sometimes the word anataya you can say for the you can un beneficial. Okay, All right. Then the uh, ahitaya just now for the harm. Dukaya, what is dukaya? Suffering. Suffering. All right. Why they want manusanam? Uh, Devas and human beings. Devas and human, all right. So, so all these are anataya, dukaya. So, 
you learned before. So what is the gen, um, case for this sub? Genitive. Genitive, singular, all right. So jana should be, I think, masculine. So we can check again. So, yeah, it's a masculine one, all right. So it's a masculine. So this is will be dative, so singular, it, yes. It, the genitive or dative because it's for the people. Uh, it's a genitive. Because it's talking the harm of, you know, oh, oh, harm sorry. of, of, yeah, so of, you're talking about of, because the harm, the rain belong to people. That's why you put the sign here as a genitive, right? Sorry, I'm mistaken so, for. Yeah, it's okay. So you got the anataya, ahitaya, all these are dative case, tupaya, all right? And then the deva manusanam, okay, deva manusanam, the nam suffix you all learned before. Is a uh, for which one? For which uh declension? The, which case? Genitive. Accusative, right? No, no, no. It's a dewa manusa, right? Manusa is a of manusa. Then you need to put the num. What is num? Uh, is it genitive uh, plural? Yes, genitive plural, all right. So manusa, manusa, it should be masculine, right? So if you like this, okay. So it's clear already. So bahuno janasa, bahuno janasa is a uh, of many people. So anataya for the ruin or unbeneficial, uh, ahitaya for the harm, dukaya for the suffering. Dewa manusanam of the dewas and human beings. All right. Yada idam, yada idam is a trans simply translate. This is a relative word, so translate as a s, all right? S. Yada idam, dikawe. Makali is a person here. Moga purisa, moga. Moga is a horror. It's actually moga, some another meaning is kind of like stupid, no? He's a, he's a stupid person or empty. Sometimes horror means empty, means that people have no IQ or no intelligence. All right, so any questions so far about this sentence? Okay. All right, so one point that you need to understand, you see, you see the O here, all right? When you see the O here, like Puliso, Buddha, so you know this is a subject by itself because it's a, not Pulisa, not Pulisam, but it's a O here. So you can take, it's talking about this person is also main thing, it's a subject, all right? So you can make it as interesting. So let's see, I'm going to highlight with another blue color. And you also see the yo here. So these two are subject by themselves, okay? Because uh, it's talking about linking to a somebody. There is uh, Makali. This is the name of the person. And Makali himself is described, it's adjective here, Moga Puliso. He's an empty, Horo man, all right? Okay. Now, okay. So what you do is when you see this, how kind of like I I say this are kind of like uh. Okay, this one should this one should link together, right? So even though you can see this is a two sentence by itself, they are linking. Yo in the first part is linking with the uh, Makali Moga Puliso. It's the second part. All right, so it's a native noun in the English. Okay. All right.
Okay, any question? So we'll continue. So next sentence is talking about this uh, optative, all right? So before I, we are going to analyze this sentence, we are, you need to go back to Palin and Iji. That's why I've been uh, telling you to study and advance this uh, optative case. So we go back to Palin and Iji. Page right. 13. 13, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, lesson uh, seven. All right. Uh, have I go through? I think last time I go through already, right? Lesson seven. But we go through again, all right? So we recite together. So when we recite, there are two parts here. Uh, why we say that this part is, uh, we call it a short form. All right? So you don't uh, read the short form. We just describe. We just read the uh, wrong form, the longer one. All right. So we read together. Aya. 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 Ayum. Ayum. Aya si. Aya si. Aya ta. Aya ta. Aya mi. Aya mi. Aya ma. Aya ma. All right. One thing you need to know in a like a singular, in a, a present tense, future tense, there's never long a before the c and ta. But for this objective, there's always long a before the c and ta. So it's a very different from the present tense or future tense. For present tense is just c and ta without long a. So you just need to not a uh, kind of like if you got a color, so you always highlight like this. So it's to to know that it's a long A here. You know, just highlight in your book, it's a long A here. All right, so we read together. Eya eyum. Eya eyum. Eya si eya ta. Eya si eya ta. Eya mi eya ma. Eya mi eya ma. Okay, eya eyum. Eya eya eyum. Eya si eya ta. Eya si eya ta. Eya mi eya ma. Eya mi eya ma. Okay, so we are going to decide the short form. Short form, uh, you read the a, a yum, a si, a ta, a mi, a ma. All right. Okay, so we decide a, a. A yum, a si, a si, a ta, a ta, a mi, a mi, a mi, a ma, a ma. Okay, a, a, a yum, a yum, a si, a si, a ta, a ta, a mi, a mi, a ma, a ma. Okay, so we're going to look at the, this example. Daweya. Daweya means talking about run. The root is daf. The base is dawa. All right, so we recite the long form, the longer one, the first, okay? So we recite this. Daweya. Daweya. Daweyum. Daweya si. Daweya si. Daweya ta. Daweya ta. Daweya mi. Daweya mi. Daweya ma. Daweya ma. Okay, so we decide short form. Dawe. Dawe. Daweyum. Daweyum. Dawe si. Dawe si. Dawe ta, dawe ta, dawe mi, dawe mi, dawe ma, dawe ma. All right. So there are other example. So let's see. Right. All right. Now, what? How should you translate this optative? You know. So it's another page. Next page. All right. So we read together the optative verbs are used 
read together. The updated the work, updated work yes, yes. are used to express a supposition, doubt, doubt, possibility, possibility. mal command, command, request invitation, courteous questions, courteous and also a prayer. These words may be translated into English by using the auxiliary verb may, might, should, would. So, a uh, task so that we are needs he may run, he might run, he, might run, he should he run, run, he will run. run. Alright? So, in this case, you notice that we can translate it in uh, many different ways according to circumstances. Alright, there are some other things that you see this before, right? Some uh, A1 you see before, this or in this way. Yada you see this before, yada idam. Have you seen the yada idam before? Yes. Yeah. We see the yada idam. So this way, in such as yada idam, right? Here is just yada. Such is a, is a if. We translate if. Such or yadi, so gache ya. Okay, so we look at this sentence. Right? Such is if, yadi is a if, so is he, so gache ya. If he would go, we can translate Aya as would go or should go and something else, all right? Right. So there are many uh, examples here, so we want to look at it. So we go back to previous page just now. There are lots of different decline, uh, kind of like conjugation, we call it conjugation here, like Aya and so on, all right? So this, this one, we just need to, uh, you all just need to look yourself right so let's go back to the this one all right so you see this udaya aya okay so we're going to read this sentence again all right uh, this sentence together is this is a uh, it's still on the same uh same sentence i break it into two parts here okay say ya uh, read it together say ya say ya tapi bikawe Tapi bikawe nadi muke nadi muke kipam kipam udeya udeya bahunam macanam bahunam macanam ahitaya dukaya ahitaya dukaya ana yaya ana yaya Biasa naya. Biasa naya. Ewa me ewa me wangko bikawe. Ewa ewa me wangko bikawe. Bikawe. Makali moga puliso. Makali moga puliso. Manusa kipam manye. Manusa kipam manye. Loke upano. Loke pano. Bahunam satana ahitaya. Adukaya anayaya biasanaya ti. Bahunam satanam ati ataya. Adukaya anayaya biasanaya ti. Okay. So this sentence is not so complicated, right? So we look at it. All right. So... One thing when you want to learn Pali or analyze Pali, so first thing you must look for subject, all right? Now, you look at the English translation. What is the subject? Look at the English first. What is the subject? What's the subject here? Do you find the subject in this sentence? In the English one? All right. A trap. No? The subject is a trap. Right. So, okay, now. So, the Pali is kipam. 
So the key part when you write like this, is talking about there's an alternate reading. This means the alternate word sometimes is the this one key part without the not the double P, just the P. All right. So you know the subject. And uh, can you find the word? Where's the word? What's the word here? What's the action here? Anybody want to try? Vera? We are not here. Huh? We are not here today. No, here. Okay. Anybody here? What's the word here? Work. We just learned about this AR, right? Okay, so just how we see this AR. So AR is a word here. So I put it as red color, all right? So AR, all right? So now we look at the English word bring. Okay, so we just now say the AR can translate as word or may or should, all right? So we go back to the Bali page just now. So, all right, so we can translate how many? May, might, should, would, all right? So you can try may, might, should, would. Between these four English, all right? So if I should translate should run, it will not run, or may, I also can translate may, may bring, you know? I also can translate this way. But I cannot translate should bring, you know, it is it's not like it's a possibility. So what I think it's better or may bring. All right. May bring about. All right. Now, okay. So now we have the location here. All right. So what we do, maybe we check this word uh Uday. Yeah, this one. Okay. Fly suspend by ties strings out, you know. Yeah, so you have this word Udeti. Udeya. I think it's binds or ties, it has a better meaning here. So Udeti, so When you do like this, so you can see. So you put the put it as a got this one. Okay, so we just put the a put the a yeah. So we just put left temporary, we just put in this way, all right. Okay, now so somebody uh the trap set trap set, all right. So maybe just put together now at the mouth of the river, all right. Mouth is a K. So mouth of the river, river is Nadi. So we can just Okay, so this is a location here. So at the mouth of the river. Now, locative A, you know, that's this one. So learn some when you learn the nominative. Uh, locative is A, uh, ask me, I'm, I'm he. So this A, this A is including this is a locative singular, all right? So you need to know what is okay. I think it's a, it's a, it should be neutral. Yes, yes. So it's a neutral here, right? So just put neutral. Right? Say at the dam, Pikawe, Nadi Muke. So at the mouth of the river, will bring the about hum. Okay. 
Right, we see this word before, hum. Okay, what is the Pali words for hum? Okay, so what's the Pali word for hum? Ahitaya. Okay, ahitaya. Okay, what is about ukaya? Suffering. Suffering, all right. What is anayaya? Calamity. Okay, what is biasanaya? Disaster. Okay, so what is the case here? What do you think? Sedative, right? Like just now. Because you see the word for, okay, for, all right? All right. Okay, for uh, bring about the harm and danger. Okay, let's say, Bahu nam manusanam. Bahu, what is Bahu? Many, all right? Why? Okay. Sorry, ma, ma, no, ma, it's a matcha. Why is matcha? Fish. Yes, fish. Okay, so you learn one word about new word. This is new word for you. Matcha is a fish. Here is a putting as a four. Yeah, it's a putting as a four here as a dative case. But I think you can put as a genitive like just now, right? Uh, you can put as a genitive, dative or genitive. So I think genitive is better than this thing. So of the of the many fish, even though I translate for the many fish, right? So you can put it as a genitive plural. Right. Okay. So you break here, right? When you see the semicolon, so actually you break the sentence here. So Ewa Mewa for Big Uh this sentence is a uh, repeated. Quite debated. Everyone bear one big away, so as it were, oh, big away. Now, this person again, Makali, Moga Puriso. What is Moga, uh, Moga Puriso? We see this word before. What is this? We see this word before. What is Moga Puriso? Follow man. man. Yes, okay. Now, this is interesting. Manusa Kipam. What do you think is this? Trap for people. Yes, trap for people, right? Trap for people, right? Now, this is another word. Manye. Manye is a special word here. So, it translates as, as it were. So, we just forget about this word first. Now, we go back to this uh, loke. All right? Loke is? Word. Word, all right. Now, you see the A suffix. Just now, on the top, you also see the A suffix. So, it's also... A suffix here means is yes. Look at this signal. Manusa should be masculine. So far, let me check. Yeah, it's a masculine here. All right. So you see upano. Now you see another nut suffix. What is a nut suffix here? Earlier on, we saw we see the patipanna. All right. So nut suffix is. Remember? Is it pass? What is pass? Yeah. Yeah, pass participant. Okay, so participant is the so you like at this. Okay. Pano, right? Now, this one you see before. Bahunam satanam. So, what is bahu? Many. Many, many beings. What is Namia? What is Namia? Genetic plural. All right, yes. Genetic plural. Okay. Sata, Sata is should be masculine. Okay, so genetic plural. So it should be four, sorry, of many beings. Right now, you see this word before. Uh, ahitaya. What is Ahitaya? For ham. Ham, okay. What is Dukaya? Suffering. Okay. What is Anna Anna Yaya? Calamity. Okay. What is Bia Sanaya? Disaster. Okay. So this center is very simple. Okay. So now we all right. So we go back to the first sentence. So the subject is Seya Tabi Bikawe Kip Kipam Udeya. So so this is a subject, a trap set, right? So it's a subject here. 
but I better check the the voice. Mm. Is it a subject or keep up? So it's a masculine here, right? So it's great. It's a subject here, so it's a is it subject object. Since it's a masculine, then it, it cannot be the yeah, it's a masculine, but if somebody says it can be a neuter, anything through we so it can be a masculine or it can be a neuter. Okay. Sometimes it can be so they say it can be masculine or neuter. So it's a here. Now the word is udeya, udeya, right? So this sample, right? Subject and verb we find out. Right, the verb I put in red color and subject I put in the red color. Right. So, okay. Jim, may I ask a question? Yes. The kit pump, why two p and the inside the bracket is one p? Uh, this is called alternate reading because there are two ways. Sometimes in Bali, we have one word can have two kind of reading or two kind of uh, different words. But these two also kit pump is also you see here, kipa, kipa, k h i p a, kipa, is a fish trap. But let's see if you find this one. It's also kipa. You can see the Bali dictionary here. Kipa is also a sort of fishing net. So this means that these two are acceptable, all right? So when two are acceptable, so kipa and with a PP and with single P. So this one is right as an alternate, quite alternate reading here. Thank All right. You. Okay. So this sentence is finished. So we, we go to this next sentence. So we start from this. Ewa may one call Uh please identify the subject. It's not difficult. Where's the subject? Makali, yeah, Makali is the person who is so yeah. Okay. Uh okay. Where's the verb? Can you find the verb? Upano. Yes, Upano. Upano. Upano, yeah. So the food is very hard. So it's talking about this person arises, has arises. He appears in a world, right? For the harm, suffering, calamity, disaster of the bee. So the other thing will be in the world. All these are extra one. We call it the how we call it in English, ever of ever of place. In the world. Okay, so this center is quite clear already. So, so also, okay. So also, the whole room, and this is the blue color. So the sentence should break from here, so also. So Ewa Mewa is this one, okay. So when you finish the sentence, you, you start the Ewa Mewa. Ewa Mewa is so also. So you should break the sentence here, all right. So the first part of the sentence, a trap set, okay or may bring. So it's a updated here, right? So just now you learned the word updated, right? So we go back to this updated, right? So, so just now we learned the updated. So first person, second person, third person, why this? Mm. Aya? Yeah? Third person, singular. Third person, singular, okay? So, so you write like this, all right? So it's updated. So you got the subject, a track set would bring is a verb here. And then the second part is the, the hollow man Makali. Uh, he is also another adjective for him is a track of the world. He arises in a world, okay, for the harm, suffering. All these are extra one, the dative case, harm, suffering, commemorative of many beings. So when you highlight the Pali sentence and the English together, that's how I learn, you know, you understand the Pali and English at the same time. So you find the subject, you find the verb, then the rest will be, uh, uh, we call it the additional things. Mm. Okay, any question? 
Sergey, can you explain manye? Manye okay. luke. Manye, all right. So manye, manye is also a special word, you know. It's very you find the word manye, right? Sometimes they translate me things I imagine. It's kind of like uh, thinking, you know, it's kind of thinking. All right. Oh. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like thinking. It's not, a, it's not part of the, it's nothing to do with the part of the sentence called strength here. It's kind of like, in a way it's thinking. But the manye is coming from this word. Manyati, manyati, yeah, yeah, manyati, manyati, manyati. all right? Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, manyati. So, manye. Ma and ya. Yeah, it's an alternative here. If you follow the Myanmar dictionary, man plus a and a ya. Manye. All right? Man plus a and ya. So, you can, uh, this is also quite interesting. You can copy like this. But it's not in a sentence as an alternative because the sentence already have the alternative by itself. So I'm going to put this, right? So this word, and then, or maybe if you want to put update, it's a uh, one word thing or one should thing. So it actually is translated as as it as it were here, many as it were. This sentence is this word is not so important. That's why. So you can put like this, many, all right? Ma pa ye a ya. Sometimes people translate as uh, it seems, you know, it's like kind of like thinking by itself or like just some meetings or something like this. Okay, it seems better. Or here is as it were translate in this way. Okay, now we there's another thing I need to explain this one the this sentence. All right, so Makali is the person here. Upano, you see this word before Upano, right? So Makali Puriso. Uh, upano here, this Upano. So if you are going to write a very simple sentence in Bali, Makali Upano. So this is a past participle, you just said that Makali has arisen in a world, right? Okay, so it's very simple sentence. Now, the sentence make it more complicated by putting the description for him. He is called Moga Puriso, a horror man. So adjective you can put in front, in front of the noun. It's like English, right? So English, when you write the adjective, it's just like beautiful girl or handsome a man just before the noun. So moga puriso as an adjective before makali. So hollow man makali. The word is has arisen. Now the sentence make it more complicated by putting this manusaki pam a trap of people. It's just a description for him, you know. He appeared like trap for people. So, Moga Puriso Makali Manusaki Pam. Sometimes the adjective, this is a, okay. So, adjective in Bali, you can put in front of the noun. Or this is a person here. And the adjective you can put just behind the noun also possible. And this is a verb here, okay. So in Bali, you can put before and after. It's no problem. Clear? Okay. So in the text, I also talk about this Makali Purisa is talking about uh, one of the famous six teachers contemplate to the Buddha time. Okay. I think that's enough for today. Any question? You know, we will finish by today. I will send the notes to you all later. All right. So any question on this sentence? The main thing is here you learn about Aya today, you know, updated Aya. Just now Aya, Ayum, Aya, Si, Aya, Ta, Aya, Mi, Aya, Mi. So Aya here is a third person but because it describes the this Kipa. Kipa is a, a trap set, right? And the place is a Nadi, Nadi Muke at the location. A, you see this locative like Buddha, Buddhasmi, Buddha, Mi, right? A, you see this A is a like locate, this is a locative. So sometimes just remember the locative has a, the sound of I, right? Like uh, locate, locas me, loca me with the I sound. So if you remember this, it's easy for you. Okay, any question? All right. Yeah, Saya G. Yes. Uh, can I ask a question? The Udeya, yes. uh, for the short 
form, can we change it to just who they? Uh, that means without the YYA. Uh, according to grammar, is acceptable. Yeah. Oh. So we can change. So what you do is uh, we can just take the like tipitaka. So last time I show you the tipitaka. So we just kind of like find out if there's a short form for this today. Oh. All right. Do a search here. Hmm? Okay. Oh, it's found. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me check. Uh, where is the Ude? Uh, Ude. No, it, it's part of the Ude, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Ude tum ete di. No, it's inside the Ude thing. Ude tapa Ude thing. I think it's not really. So maybe we put a space here. Oh no, it's part of the kude mm. delocated, so it's not found, all right? But let's mm. say we put the AR here. Okay. It should found many. Yeah, udeya, kudeya. So it's only found in the Angutara Nikaya. Mm. But another mm. various form you see is Odeya, you know, O D D O D D E Y Y A. Odeya seems to be Odeya. more Odeya. So we check the Odeya. Yeah, it's also you can find this. It's inside, yeah, all day yeah, also. Yeah, oh. day, yeah, all day, yeah, right? Okay, so you mm -hmm. answer your question. Uday is not yes, common. According to grammar, yes, sure. you can make, you can have the short form, but according to the, when we do the search, sometimes you cannot find it. But when we write, it's not, not a problem because it's uh, acceptable according to grammar. Okay, so any other question? Yes? Shaggy, which is a common one, a long form or the short form? More common in optative. It depends on the normally AR is more common. AR AM is more common. Yeah, I think I think the long one I see more often than, than the short one. But sometimes it's also the possible, form, no? Uh. Sometimes it's for, possible. Short form is also possible. That's why it's actually written in two ways. Yeah, there we see. There we see. Okay, let, maybe we do a search on that we see. Let's see. So we go back to just now. So we do an experiment here. So with the, uh, you need to put long A. So I'm going to type in this way. When for this typing, long A, I need to type double A, yeah. right? Uh, we see. Uh, it's not found here. we see. It's not found here. So you see, da you run. Okay, it's also not found here. Let's see. A yeah. Okay, you can see I found four already. Da we ya, da we yam. Okay, a ya, da we yam. Na da we ya, da we yam. A ya. All right. So it just I think it's okay as a grammar, but maybe not not all. Even the grammar point, for example, if you see the grammar point. All these appear as a grammar point like da we ya, da we, da we yung, da we si, da we ta. But not all will come in a tipitaka, you know. But we write here because it's we call it possible, possible form. All right. Mm -hmm. Even like all these down there, the like, siya, siyam, like kariya, si, kariya ta, all these are kairum. Yeah, all these are possible form. Okay. Okay, so no question, we do the sharing of merits. Uh, Shaji, go back mm. to the, uh, this, uh, the sutta. Okay. Uh, okay, the word kipang, uh, kipang, is a, uh, uh, yeah. well, yes. I am confused because uh, so far I know is a M dot is a for accusative, but here you mentioned right. as a cumulative uh, subject. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, because a neutral, oh. for the neutral, the subject can be M dot also, remember? Neutral. Okay, uh, all right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. But if you are going to take masculine, if you are going to take as a masculine, yeah. uh, let, let's say, but you see the, you see the, this one, all right? Udeya. Udeya is uh, talking about something, something third person. So third person means is talking something he or it. So it should be the subject here. And subject, since you got the M dot here, 
the um sound then it can be according to the dictionary it can be the masculine or because it's a subject it can be neuter you know neuter with the neuter like palam palam palani right mm -hmm. with with the m m dot okay uh, thank you Okay, good. So this means that you are you're familiar with all the declension. Good for you. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. So no question. We just do the normal sharing of merits. So maybe somebody want to lead the sharing of merits. Any of you good in chanting? So I mean, I don't want to hear my sound all the time. <laughs> so anybody want to uh, just share, do chant? Okay. I will try. Okay, try any chanting that your family are, you know? Oh, uh, uh, seeking for forgiveness. Okay, okay. Kayena, yeah. yeah. Okay. Kayena bacha chitena, pama dena maya kata, achayam kamame pante, puri panya tata kata. Uh, do I continue with the rest? Or? Yeah, continue, continue. Just make sure you share the marriage. So everybody put the hand, we share the marriage together, all right? So, yes. Uh, I start again or continue? I just continue all the chanting, including sharing marriage with all the deities and all the departed ones. Right? Oh, okay, okay. Then I okay, share yeah. with yes. the, uh, sharing marriage with the, the devas and yeah. Aka Saka. Akasata Chapumata Deva Naga Mahi Hita Punyantam Anumitva Chibram Rakan to Lukasasana Akasata Chapumata Deva Naga Mahi Hita Punyantam Anumitva Chibram Rakan to Desana Akka sata cha pumata Deva naga mahindika Punyantam anumogit wach Ramrakatuma parati Sharing the marriage with the departed ones Idame nyatina mudu sumita pautu nyatayo Ida me nyatina mudu sumita pautu nyatayo Ida me nyatina mudu sumita pautu nyatayo Imena punya kamena Mame bala sama kamu Satam sama kamu Yavani bana patiya Didame punya asava kaya maha potu Idame punya divana sa pachayo potu Mama punya bagam saba satanam bajemi De sabe me samam punya bagam laban tu Sadu, sadu, sadu. Okay.